Doesn't save. He's not very wise. He's gonna take the full <clears throat> twenty-seven. Twenty-seven damage. And he's looking pretty hurting right now, and he is going to look at uh, Ciara. If only he had flanking. If only he had flanking. <laughs> that will miss absolutely horribly as he tries to step on her, instead getting his foot stuck in some of the boards on the ship. My ship! This one over here is going to charge right at Shiki and going to try to hoof her in the face. Uh, and he's going to not be able to do so. Uh -huh. The bearded devil on his back, though, is then going to try to stab her. No, you don't. Which sheet is it? I have so many sheets open. The beard will miss. The glaive will hit, dealing 13 slashing damage. And a con check. Cutting con words! Check. Oh, wait, we don't have a bard. Boar, we need to train you to be a bard. I was a bard, but she's not here. <laughs> Shiki, at this distance, you can see underground. There is a lot more fighting below. There is more fighting below decks. Yeah, got, got, got that um, con check. Here we go. And you're completely fine. You once again, as this, you dodge out of the way of the uh, beard, you get hit by the glaive, and you can feel this infernal wound in your side from it. But you're able to just kind of, you grip your side. You can just kind of force it away, and that's pretty much good there. And that'll be it for those turns. Brain Help! Is up. Help! Bran does not have a very good way to get over there. I'm small to Lily. Uh, get to the <laughs> So he's going to come up to this one, and he's going to halberd. Good, halberd. Bad. Even misses with advantage. And halberd. That'll hit. For a grand total of four damage. How's the fireman hey. looking? Really? Four damage. Oh, I'm oh. not adding in his modifier for that damage, so he should uh. actually be doing... Does he have two weapon mod? fighting? Uh, uh, fighting spell? The halberd isn't adding in the mod. The halberd's what matters. So he should be doing three more damage than that, so that should be seven in three, which for ten. And how's what looking? The fire main that he's wailing on. The fire horse looks like it's about to die. The uh, bearded devil over here looks... About bloodied. This one's complete. This uh, horse is fine, and the bone devil looks pretty beat up. You know, it'd be really cool if we could tame one of these, because Lily would love to carry this around as a steed, or you know, ride it. Not happening. It would be freaking awesome, though. I'll let you roll a arcana <laughs> check on that idea later. Okay. <laughs> Except uh, it's Lily's turn. Lily is going to accept that attack of opportunity. Okay, he's just trying to hoof her in the back. Yep. Tries to rear up, hoof her in the back. Oh yeah, I forgot, these things also actually give off. It's going to complete this. The Nightmares do give off. It's not quite torch light, but it is pretty obvious light. I just didn't give it to them because I forgot. Um, that's giving her 5 temp HP, which I forgot to do earlier. So I'll do it now. And she is going to dagger, because she has a dagger. Um... Just drop it and put out your main weapon. It's only a dagger. Just drop yeah, it. Yeah, fine. She'll drop it. Pull out her. <laughs> it's only a dagger. Even it, if it gets stolen by a spider, pop it out of the ship to just run away with it. But, Jeez, but it's my dagger. dagger. <laughs> she'll drop I'll it. Um, she'll drop it and pull out her maul. I'll make you a better one. <laughs> a maul, okay. Her plus two maul. Okay. That's the jet ammo. What? And she has advantage because flanking. Does she still have rage? Was she? Yes, she, she is. Yeah. Right. She was attacked. I know she was attacked by the attack of opportunity. What else attacked her? She's only just going to the boat anyway. I'll say she still has it. I'm not overly worried about it. Okay. All right. So both of those will hit. The second one back advantage. So both of those hit easily. Uh, with the second one, I'm gonna trip. Just so I can deal extra damage. Yep. Trip attack. Nightmare has to roll strength save. Which, okay, and it's going to deal an extra six damage. And the second, like, you kind of, first off, you wail into the horse's flank with the first one. Then you kind of aim lower as you come around for the second attack. You sweep its legs out from under it. The horse hitting the ground. The uh, bearded devil 
dro- uh, just jumping from the horse to stay on his feet as it hits the ground and goes prone. Alright, uh, I'm going to do the stopwatch action surge. Alright, roll um, a 1d20. That's a 29. Uh, 29. And you are fine. You have only gone, you've gotten petrified once, and these are not low odds. <laughs> I mean, like, it's low, but it's not, like, one. Oh my. We've already explained this. JB bribes roll 20. Like, legitimately, if the if the failure odds for the uh, pistol is a four, you, she's more likely to fail the stopwatch than the pistol. And the pistol breaks every now and then. It's broken what, All twice. Right, so then? stopwatch is successful. You have more attacks. I think you just rolled them both. Yep. Is that it? All yep. right. So the first attack, you will have advantage automatically. 18 damage. Second one, six... 14 damage. How's the it? horse is Go the ahead. horse is still alive. But you can tell if you just hit it one more time. Like yeah. the flames are very weak at this point. I'll do it's another kind of just twitching about. I'll do another trip attack uh, with that last one to see to All see right. if that kills and it. And trip attack doesn't do quite enough damage to kill it. Ah. Veth is up. I tried shaky. It's fine, Lily. I can Beth step back. I can step back. Here. She's going to look at that distance. I think that is outside of minimum distance for a dagger throw. 20. Um, 20 is dagger. She can take it with disadvantage, which she's getting anyway. She will. She's going to have disadvantage anyway, so she... Like, uh, Veth will run up here, and she will pull out a dagger from her, um, like... She'll kind of, like, uh... Put one of her swords away and pull out a dagger, and she will just chuck it as far as she can to try and hit the horse. And it just will like, hit triple disadvantage because it's prone too. <laughs> disadvantage and advantage do not stack. Yep. And it will hit even at this distance, catching the, the nightmare in the side of its face. I don't I don't actually know if nightmares disappear like demons do, so I'm just going to say they do for right now and not they worry about it. Fiendish creatures, they go back to their home plane. Yeah, true, it is a fiendish creature. And it will catch the nightmare in the side of its neck as it flails about, and it twitches once more and it turns to dust, vanishing. Oh, there's dust on my ship now. It the dust Back immediately disappears, turn. and then uh, Beth is going to turn around. Can she? Hmm. I see a lot. Can she do her offhand attack still? If you make an attack as your action, you can. Yes. I wasn't sure if it required melee attack. Uh, it doesn't no because you can throw a dagger. Uh, oh right, yes, and it's also that like a uh, hand crossbows. You can't yeah. technically dual wield. So yeah, and Man then she will turn with her offhand no, and she will try to stab him. <laughs> nice. She will turn on the spot. It's actually, crossbow, you can't dual wield hand crossbows permanently, with, even with that feet, because you need a free hand on, to reload. Yeah. That's the caveat there. And she will turn with her um, offhand sword, and then she will just kind of stab it into the other nightmare's flank, doing exactly enough damage to kill it. Well, that was lucky. Yeah, it was quite lucky. Lucky. And Bor is going to slam the ship towards the Bone Devil again. It's expecting it this time, though. So it's going to have advantage on its save. Well, it's not going to have advantage to what's happening after that. Yep, as advantage on the save, so it's able to completely avoid the damage that would be taken. Uh, Carly is also going to be moved closer. And it's uh, Shiki's turn now. Okay. So if I step if I step one square away from this, it doesn't get attack of opportunity, correct? Because it's a halberd. Still within reach. Right. One weapon is five, and the other is ten. So you I don't actually five. know the ruling on it, though. That's the problem. The oh, it's okay. very vague, like everything else in five E. If you go out, so either reach, way, I'm probably going to take the beard. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna say because it can attack with both and does every turn. If you move five feet away, you get attacked by the beard. Okay, so I'm just gonna psych myself up here. <laughs> ah! All right. And he sees you step away. He's not able to swing his uh his glaive around to try to hit you, but his beard kind of just leans forward with his beard, and the beard catches you in the uh, catches you in the face. You take four piercing damage. And roll a con save. You passed the con save. Oh. Wow, really? It's a, it's a low DC. These guys aren't <laughs> the, the most dangerous thing. Well, then, 
I, I lower my gun down at him. My face now bloodied. I'm going to get a bit violent here. So one, one Mississippi. That'll hit. He Mixed bloodied five. your face, so you're going to bloody him, period? Yeah, next okay. deck. Okay, and... What? Again, violent again, two Mississippi. And that will hit. And it doesn't matter what you roll on the violent, because the violent will kill him. Yep. The second shot, you kind of you line up the shot both time, and angry at him for butting your face, you just aim right for his eyes. Both shots nailing directly in them as he kind of falls backwards again, dispersing this abyssal, infernal fog as he's I'll, dead. I'll catch up with you some other time. Next is uh, Sierra's turn, I believe. Okay. I'm actually going to second wind. I'm going to second wind anyway. All right, second wind. Um, you said that the Bone Devil looks fairly dying. He looks pretty weakened at this point. He's right. not, like, it's, he won't just fall over and die. You're going to have to do something for it, but he's Suck it, weak. Jeeps. Suck it. <laughs> <laughs> I rolled a three on that. It's not great. Um, <laughs> all right. So she would like to heal herself for some reason. I don't know why she'd like to do that. Uh, when she heals herself, she still takes the extra healing, right? Yes. I thought she had to heal someone else for the extra healing. I don't uh, know. Roll Look it. Look at the class abilities. I think she has it labeled. Uh, cleric is like page 50 ish. Uh, I'm gonna let's see. Ciara. When the healing cast on others heal you as well, when you heal someone other than you. Okay. So, no. Uh, it, let's heal or get the additional I'm, six. I'm reading from the book. When you heal someone other than yourself. So she let's does not get the additional it. six, though. All right. Yeah, she, so she still gets the 24 healing. Yep. All right, so she always gets the, uh, the bonus, but not twice, so that's good. Okay, so that's another level 4 spell, because... Um, and, uh... That was her bonus action, so as her action, she's actually going to come right over here and do something she rarely does. Ooh! <laughs> and crit. <laughs> yes, yeah, Yara, after muttering the uh, small prayer to heal herself, she steps forward and she sees the bone devil next to the ship and she brings this mace down on its head, doing a pretty strong crit that will deal to 15 plus an extra 9, so 24 damage. Roll Spirit Guardians. Cool. That's level 3 Spirit Guardians. Is still here. Okay. So <laughs> spirit guardians. So spirit guardians. How do you want to do this? Well, I think we'd like to just bite it a hundred times. I'm gonna go with all of the um, angelic figures that have been swirling around her. They all kind of just gather up behind her, making this several ranks of warriors. And then all at once, each rank charges at the Bone Devil, passing through one by one as like it's arms just kind of get torn off, its wings shredded, and it just falls from the sky, disappearing into the infernal smoke ba -ba 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 as the rest of it Charge! And that is the combat over, up on the decks. Well, um, don't know about you guys, but I'm gonna go below deck and uh, start unloading. Lou is going to pick up her dagger. <laughs> um... <laughs> Uh, for out of combat, uh, Shiki, you run over to look down below decks. You can see that um, Azul and Cassie end up uh, back to back against like at the bottom of the ship, and they both kind of reach forward and stab one last devil. And as the devil kind of staggers forward, it disappears in the smoke as well. Um, they look up to see Shiki, and they ask what it's like up there. Uh, all clear. Absolutely no problems at all. We didn't have we anything up here. <laughs> All right, we got the last of them down here. Atagi's wounded, but she'll be okay, we think. They mostly went after her. Oh. Oh. Du -du 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 -du. Interesting. Well, we, uh, we might have a problem. 
that would be. <sighs> yeah. And as this is going on, Veth is also, she's trying to just addressing the ship real quick. Um, she kind of seems to spit on the deck, seeming rather annoyed hey, at the presence of the devils, even though they've already deck. left. Mm. I'll have him swab it later. Okay, that's good. Carry on. Bor just looks and just kind of and, and Bor just kind of <laughs> looks like he's got this extremely <laughs> unamused look on his face. <laughs> I think so, maybe we should go back know. to sleep. <laughs> I don't know why? Hmm. Well, it seems that Atagi may have possibly could have done something to annoy the devils. Beth will not at this point. Yes, I understand Infernal. They were yelling something about a bunny. I think she would have angry at any demons or any devils, though. I don't know. She's got a bad history, from what I can tell. It might have been a devil in disguise, for all we know, then. Uh, can so, I roll uh, that Arcana check? <laughs> <laughs> what do you want to roll the Arcana check? The Nightmare or something else? The Nightmare. <laughs> roll an Arcana check on the Nightmare. You think it would be a crazy oh, sweet idea to get a nightmare. You think you should just find a horse and light its hair on fire. That should work perfectly fine. Oh, can I roll an arcana check on the nightmare? You may. Yay! Shiki, you have realized how bad an idea it would be to have a nightmare. Um, so, give me a sec. I want to read the wrong book. Would you end up I having a nightmare of a time? A nightmare of a time, more or less, yes. The thing with nightmares is that they do make rather useful steeds, flying steeds at that. They are rather quick. They allow you to disappear into the ethereal plane and come back out as well, which probably would explain how the uh, devils got so close, actually. But... The problem with it is they tend to be... Well, the several problems. First of which is that they are evil to the core. Evil, and you evil. know this for a fact. Mm -hmm. And they tend to kind of corrupt the riders. And the other thing you know is that they tend to be created from Hegesis somehow. But you know, unlike a Hegesis, a nightmare has no wings. Oh, no. So you're saying that I should first just find a Pegasus, right? Uh, uh, just a Hegesis and nothing else. <laughs> you should just uh, yeah, we should ne you should never ever ride one of those, Lily. Maybe maybe oh, we can never. tame it to be a good never, creature. Ne Safety comes off. Never. <laughs> uh, you have to realize trust Lily's not super scared of that safe. Trust, trust the one. <laughs> trust the one with the. Uh, I don't think anyone here is. Yeah, and Veth will kind of speak up. I would suggest you also don't try to tame a nightmare. They are rather good at corrupting in ways that you wouldn't expect, and they're rather intelligent, too. I'm going to have CR roll con enough to get rid of that poison. You only need to pass it once, so yeah. And it lasts like we a minute. We have antitoxin. So it lasts a minute, so. Anyway, um, don't know about you guys, but I'm going back to bed. Yes, you should all get some proper rest. Yeah, I'd like a short rest at the very least. Yeah, take a short rest for now and a longer rest after if it looks like you'll need it. I, I don't think they'll be able to attack us again. If they were able to have more devils brought into the material plane, they would have sent them all after us at once. Not necessarily. Sending everything at once isn't necessarily a brilliant idea either. Well... Do you understand the thought of a devil? That was nice. No. I don't think I ever would. Yeah, neither do I. I can guess that they're probably not nice people. And other than that, I don't really know how devils think. They qualify as people. Well, actually, if you wanted to know more, you might be able to ask some people when we get to Star Point. There was a somewhat fiendish incursion immediately before the blight was formed. I was there during the fight. Actually, where are we over right now? You're currently over the ocean. 
about we... roundabouts where the uh, marker would have been. You're not quite there yet. You'd probably take another hour to get there. Do you I was think... gonna say is it related? But yeah, I was wondering is this out. is this area somehow I don't know invest infested or something? Yes. Uh, you can roll Arcana checks to try to get a feeling for that. Um, Azul, like she'll probably have come up at this point and heard this, and she'll start using the uh, casting detect magic as a ritual. Um, man, my my rolls today are amazing. Yeah, I will never pass an Arcana check. I'm not even going to try. Thinking about it and just looking around, the area looks relatively pristine overall, and. What you know about devils and demons and other fiends is they tend to be a lot more corrupting in nature. And it doesn't seem like there's anything out here to like even corrupt or anything of the sort. You don't think it's anything like that. And as Azul finish, catches, uh, finishes casting a ritual and looks around, she'll report that she doesn't really sense any magic anywhere near the ship other than the ship itself. Could it be related to the sigil? It's... Uh, Arashi... <sighs> He wouldn't have made anything that would have related to devils, I don't think. He's too he's chaotic, and I think devils are too awful. Even if he uh, wanted to work with them, he wouldn't. Well, it's not a matter of if he wanted to or not. It's a matter of what if they got their hands on it. Hmm. It's possible. What does a devil need with a flying ship? Well, I don't actually know. I can't think of anything a devil would need with a flying ship. I mean, well, most of them can fly ship. themselves, and the ones who can't fly, well, they had nightmares. It seems saying? like... Go ahead. Unless it's not a flying ship, but out of the two sigils I've seen, I've seen two completely different things. Azul, well, did you say that they were mostly after Atagi? Well, yeah, Atagi... Cassie's looking after her right now, but Atagi was... Most of them went right after her. Well, you could say most of them up here went right after me, too. Uh, you're Lily. You're the. You're probably one of the most threatening things up here on the deck. Okay, and okay, okay. You can hear various snorts and laughter, like very muffled laughter coming from up, uh, coming from up near the wheelhouse. And looking up there, you see Veth kind of reach up and give Boar a little dope slap on the back of the head. Um, I mean, are we talking like they beeline for her, her and they completely ignored you two, even though you two are in the way, or? We mean they appeared right around her and all started to attack her. Yeah, that's a bit. Maybe they thought she was the biggest threat. She's a pretty good spellcaster. Even when we started to... Even after we killed the first one, they continued to ignore us, so I don't know. Hmm, that sounds a little more suspicious. Is she, uh, does she mention anything about dealings with demons and devils before, or...? I don't think so. We we might need well, to look into focus what happened. Well, let on continuing the travel and being ready for another well, attack. In case well, it I'm well, well. I'm going downstairs to investigate before I go to sleep. So yeah, maybe you can question her and see what you can get. Yeah. And yeah. Meanwhile, Crowley, she just went back up to the crow's nest to take a look one thing real quick, and she's gonna rush downstairs solely to check in on her room. Is that where the egg is? That's where the egg is. She's yeah. keeping it in her room. I'm going to move everyone back to the normal. Hey, uh, Veth? Yes? When they attacked, you seemed very... Um, angry. Is there any particular reason? Like, I mean, obviously, I am i don't want anything attacking our ship, but you seem to be... almost oh, more in a rage than me. Mr. Uh, Elf, what are you still doing here? What is the elf doing there? We need to get rid of him too. I forgot. Throw him off the ship. <laughs> <laughs> Over the side. Over the side, like the bone devil was trying. Um, Veth will answer after a moment. I have a bit of a history with devils. Oh. Why does everyone have fun histories aside from me? You're noble. How do you not have a fun history? Yeah, it's more the boring than you'd think. <laughs> No, it's. I mentioned I sir or I was around near the tower where the blight was formed, around the time it was formed. I fought in a few of the battles there. I actually helped kill several devils myself. So it's like a 
protect your countrymen kind of thing. Something like that. It's... Uh, it's hard to explain. And she just kind of smiles. Okay. Well, I think I'm maybe just gonna go get some sleep. Um, yell at us through the <laughs> horn if you need anything. Mm-hmm. All right. I'll... I'll be good up here. They didn't really do much damage to me. Alright. And Atagi, for the meanwhile, um... Cassidy has her... I'm gonna move people to where they're actually gonna be down here below decks. Cassidy will have... Where's Cassidy? Where's Cassidy? Cassidy is up here. Yeah, Cassidy will have Atagi in on one of the beds, and she's just kind of tending to her to make sure she's good. Uh, Dorf is going to be in here keeping an eye on the cook. Yeah, Oral can be down here as well. Bran will be keeping an eye on things on top of deck as well. These two will be up here. Boar was by the wheel. Cause Boar. Did Bran need any healing or anything? Bran, he was he could use a second wind as well. He was damn near topped off. He didn't yeah. use much that fight. That's yeah, what I thought. Ion could, Ion could take uh, Crow's Nest for a while if Riley wants to sleep. Riley, she's gone. Yeah, she's just checking on her egg right now. She can come back up. If Ion mentions it, she'll say that that's if she wants to go up and keep eye, why, uh, keep watch. That's fine. I assume that Sayara would want to restore her spells, so yeah, she's gonna yeah. go take a sleep. Yeah, because so. it's it was not like it wasn't quite noon. I say it would have been like more like ten o'clock ish. This attack would have happened, but it was a pretty rough attack. Yeah, <laughs> so, All right. so oh, how's the wounded soldier? <laughs> what are you saying? How's the wounded soldier? Atagi is... She's... She's kind of resting right now, just like eyes closed. Uh, she, You can see a few wounds on her, the infernal wounds. Um, you can see, you walk in, like, uh, see one of them on her arm is exposed. Cassidy casts a curing spell and the wound instantly seems to vanish. Got a pretty good then, I'm guessing. There were four of them that just appeared all around her. And when we managed to kill one of them and she had a chance to run free, she just ran right upstairs and then came back down afterwards. Yeah, yeah, bit, swarmed a bit all over. Though, kind of odd, kind of odd they were just going for her. <sighs> yeah, did something happen? Or did this come from before? Or? I'm, uh, that's the thing. I wanted to ask her if she uh, ever had problems like this before. Well, she's asleep right now, so I don't think you'll be able to ask her much for the moment. I don't know. I just got a hunch about something. Oh? Well, and what do you have a hunch about? Hmm. Plus, we may have found something a bit random lately. Hmm. That's always a possibility. Huh. Just, uh... Yeah, she'll be fine. She just needs to get some rest for now. We, um... Might have to think about maybe, uh... Doing some kind of defense down here. Just in case. Well, normally it wouldn't be a problem. I mean... Um, you'd have uh, to but break... Have the door down there to get inside or what uh, have you, when they When they warp in. Yeah... Any other creatures that want to be an issue, but fiends just don't really seem to care. Hmm. And I don't think they really warped in, they seem to just plane shift. Hmm. We could be we could have some trouble later on. Yeah, we'll have to figure it out, I'm sure. Especially seeing that demons don't tend to die. Yeah. Anyway, you didn't seem to sleep too well yesterday. Uh, how are you doing? I was uh, back, psycho uh, okay. I was up. I had just up all night making uh, bullets. And uh, yeah, see, so you kind of reach into her pocket and she'll grab out a berry and she'll throw it to uh, Shiki. Eat that. That'll no. that'll keep you from getting hungry the rest of the day. I already got it in my mouth. You're very quick. Uh, <laughs> all right. Uh, I... I, I I'll leave you to a. Uh... Yeah, I've treated a demon wound before. It's not the most pleasant thing ever. 
though just, usually uh, don't run into groups as big as that. Just make sure she uh, gets through this okay. Yeah, she'll be fine. She just needs to sleep. Okay. Bye. Do, 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 do. As Shiki is going towards her bedroom, Lily's gonna pop her head out the door. She gonna be a hey, okay. Oh, that's good. Um, I was thinking. I think maybe you might have the same thought from what you were saying earlier. You remember those apples we had? It didn't seem like anything happened to me or Atagi, and they seemed to be going after both of us. Maybe that was some sort of demon tree or something. Uh. See, let's see how I got gems out of it, and Cryley had something else happen to her. Yeah, they didn't really go after Cryley much. They did try to hook Sayara off the ship, too. Um, see, do, hmm, think about the tree, can I make, can I attempt a nature check? You can attempt a nature check. Can I think about the tree? No, I don't know. You and I don't really know. Like, you remember the tree, but you don't really know anything about the tree other than it was a very weird tree. Can I do, like, an insight or anything like that on whether I'm on the right you, track? You can do an insight check to see if you're on the right track. Yeah. Oh, man, no, no, I wish I did insight instead. You have no real idea. You could potentially be on the right track, but you're not sure. Uh-huh. I would have done better with insight. Bugger. <laughs> 